Yo, we got a um, just quick demo here to demonstrate PowerShell interfacing with the call manager API, doing some basic CRUD operations. Uh, that's create, create, read, update, and delete. And then we also um, are going to demonstrate a basic SQL query that we're going to dump the application user table from the call manager database, just kind of illustrating some of these capabilities that can be um, accomplished. So just some boilerplate stuff that we're not going to get into because it kind of is going to defeat the purpose of showing the um, PowerShell and call manager. Uh, all this is is importing some, some uh, namespaces so that we're able to do um, the web connection to the call manager um, uh, successfully because we have to um, get around the that it's being self-signed and all that happiness and obviously in production that would be totally different and you could work that out um, but we're not going to get into those details for this video so uh, as you can see here we got a call manager we're just going to log into and show you um, what we're working with not, not, not a whole lot here so So to show the basics of our read operation, we're going to go ahead and read our application uh, users and oh, not application users. I'm sorry, uh, end users. And we went ahead before this and created uh, Bonehead Jones. Okay, so we're going to go over to PowerShell and let's go ahead and load up our run this code here. And all this is going to, all the heavy lifting is going to be done inside of this invoke CUCM, CUCM API, which uh, we're just connecting to uh, the call manager API endpoint uh, and doing some low level um, socket reading and writing. So we're going to go ahead and invoke our uh, read operation here. So it's asking me for password. And then voila, we should have Bonehead Jones here. Uh, so there it is, Bonehead Jones. So we have successfully interfaced with the uh, Call Manager API uh, from straight native PowerShell. Wonderful. Next, we're going to go ahead and uh, create a create a user, and let's go ahead and run that. It's going to ask us for a password. So we know we only had Bonehead Jones. We should have this other weird name, some random guy. Uh, if we go here and users now we have this Corey L Linux guy uh, that we didn't have so now we've just uh, created so we read we got a create operation now we're gonna update and we're going to be updating this weird Corey guy's name his last name I believe from Linux to like testes so let's go ahead and run that and it just returned us a, a GUID uh, nothing fancy so end user and there we are so now we have full update operations next we're going to go ahead and blow testy Corey testy out returns us to do it again we should be able to come in here and user and now testy has gone wonderful next we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to create it's just the same as the the original create operation here we're just going to create an application user which um, is this XML code here and again none of this is dynamic at this point it was really just to set, uh, set it up so we're going to create test admin with a password um, and make him part of all these awesome roles and again this could be easily made dynamic with um, string expansion so instead of test admin if I have some CSV data that I'm reading in or something like like that we could use uh, string expansion here to replace uh, those statically assigned names with uh, variableized data. So, and again, I'm not. Gonna, this is not an XML class either, or demo. So I'm not going to get in here and read all of this and all all that XML and interfacing with the API that is well documented uh, from Cisco. So let's go ahead and create this super super app user, and uh, let's see if we can log in with him. So let's create it. All right, it created. I think his name. What was his name? Create app user. His name was Test Super Test Super Admin. Let's log out. Test Super Admin and our super secret password. 
voila, and we are in. Next, what was our next? Next uh, was to demonstrate uh, running. Well, let's go ahead and get an app user. I don't know. Wait, let's see who which one. Get app user, uh, which is test. That's just a basic read operation. I'm not going to run that one again. But let's go ahead and um, let's let's show the SQL demo. So we're executing SQL query namespace, and we're going ahead we're going ahead and saying, hey, grab every every field from the application user table, and all of those tables within the the database again are well documented with um, Cisco. So let's go ahead and drop that thing. And there is our application user table from the database. And uh, as you can see, Cisco is actually doing a really good job of doing a single salt for, for all the passwords. Uh, good luck on trying to crack those. If you know how to crack those, please make me aware of that. Uh, I would love lo love to, to have that knowledge. Um, so there is that quick demo and again you can get the you can get all the documentation from uh, Cisco Dev Center where is it at uh, so here's our entire API again very robust um, and you kinda just gotta drill down in there and get familiar with it uh, the next thing is the database dictionary this is for all you SQL lovers out there you can go ahead and, and reference this documentation and it's got all your tables and fields and data types and and all that again SQL is not my strong point so I can't speak uh, too intelligently to that so that's it hope you guys enjoyed it if you got any questions or you got any um, feedback whatever please provide it awesome